Hey everybody, my name is Karthik Subramaniam. I'm a real estate entrepreneur here in Southern California. I'm the founder of a very large real estate education company. Absolutely love what I do. I have a passion for the business. I'm happy to have found it. Follow my journey here on YouTube. Hey everybody, Karthik Subramaniam over at Adi Schools. I am here today at a huge 12,000 square foot mansion to illustrate an appraisal concept and a real estate concept known as regression. So regression, as the name kind of implies, says that the value of a huge house will tend to go down if surrounding properties are of lower value. And this is a deal I was involved in, I don't know, eight or nine years ago, and I was just looking at another listing of mine, and I was driving by the property, I said, oh my goodness, I did, I was involved in that deal back in 2009. Now here we are, 2018, this property is back on the market. I wanna show you some before and after pictures here as well, so you can kind of get an idea of what the property looked like before, what it looks like now, a lot of money has been put into this property. What's interesting about this home is that I spoke to the agent who has it listed and it's going for about 1.3 million now. This is a 12,000 square foot mansion with a 2,400 square foot master bedroom and an indoor pool and an outdoor pool. But if you look at the area, the property is really surrounded by much smaller homes in this community. Now, if you look at a lot of the other homes in this community, there are three bedroom, one bathroom, or four bedroom, one bathroom homes that are built really about 50 or 60 years ago. This property is as inexpensive as it is for a lot of reasons. Well, number one, it's huge. It's kind of a white elephant, but also the area it's in, it's not surrounded by a bunch of larger homes. If you are buying a 12,000 square foot house, you probably want your neighbors to be 12,000 square feet, 10,000 square feet, 15,000 square feet. You wanna live in an area of larger homes also. This property suffers from something called regression. Basically that says the value of a more expensive property is going to tend to be negatively impacted if surrounding buildings are of lesser value. Now, you heard the, you might've heard, I don't know if the mic picked it up, but a lawnmower going off in the background. This has over an acre of land, lush, beautiful lawns. It takes a lot of money to keep up a property like this, but this property does suffer from an appraisal concept known as regression. Now, you can probably guess what the opposite is. The opposite is progression. Progression says that the value of a less desirable property will be positively impacted if surrounding buildings are of greater value. Regression is the opposite. Regression says that the value of a more desirable property will be negatively impacted if surrounding buildings are of lower value. So I guess the question for you as a real estate investor is, would you rather have the nicest house in the worst area or would you rather have the worst house in the best area? You're gonna want the worst house in the best possible area based on progression. Now, you don't need to get a damn real estate license to know that. You know, if you have a small house and it's surrounded by a bunch of big, beautiful homes, the value of your small house is gonna go up. An appraiser would call that progression. This is an example of regression. Now, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to upload a video about every day here to bring as much value as possible to people in the real estate industry. Also, connect with me on Instagram. I'd love to get to know you better and connect with you online and offline, and we'll catch you on the next video.